Hello everybody and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Origins where today we're actually gonna hopefully get this legendary armor. We just have to go to the Sphinx now. If the game will give me some frames. Maybe. So the Sphinx, I don't even remember where, the, it's been so long. It was like one of the, one of the starting areas. Is it in Giza? It is. I haven't been to Giza in forever. Where the cool pyramids are at. It'll be nice to visit. Ever heard of ghosting? Yes, I have. Oh my gosh. Poison a corpse, put it on a horse, lean back, and let it do the work. Wow. That's a good idea. Some of these tips are really, really interesting. Like lighting a moving hay bale, like a hay cart on fire as it goes into a, a fort or something. They've got some, uh, some neat ideas, that's for sure. I think... Oh boy. There it is. Yeah, it's always a surprise on how small the Sphinx is. Hiya. The Great Sphinx. It's smaller than I expected. All right, we go under. In the secret little tunnel that exists underneath the Sphinx that everybody knows is there. A hidden entrance. How long has this been here? We've uh, we've established this like three times, Bayek. It's okay though. It's exciting every time. It's exciting. Sorry if that gets included. It hopefully won't, and hopefully it doesn't mess up the recording too much. But I hate it when it does that. Did the cobwebs come back? Ah, a dead end. It does not make sense. Oh, there must be a way forward. Haven't we already found the way forward? Yeah. Pretty sure. <coughs> oh, this is just a dead end. I have to drop. <laughs> Please let this recording not mess up. I'll cry. Oh, I lit the, the braziers or whatever that were in here. I know I did. It was like, yeah, come on. Okay. We're on the right track. Dun, 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 dun. Now we can interact with it. These are all the little astronomy places that we found, all the stone circles. This is cool. Oh. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, that's so cool. This is not Egyptian. Yeah, it ain't. It's older than Egyptian. was maybe Egyptian, but this part is not. I want to be able to see. Oh my gosh, this is cool! Is it on my afu? That's a 
that's not Egyptian. Maybe it is. There's an ancient tablet in here, though, apparently. These steps were not made for mortals. Fifty? Fifty quarts? Oh my gosh, I have seven. I have seven quarts. Just to give you an idea, I have the seven. Oh my gosh, I wanted to wear it. Is this the tablet or no? The tablet somewhere else. Let's see. Okay, he's not even gonna say anything. Oh my gosh. What's this? Oh, some quartz. Uh, now I have eight quartz. Cool. Oh man, am I gonna have to go loot some tombs for some quartz? They told me it was gonna be a lot, but I wasn't. I didn't know it was gonna be that many. And I've used some to upgrade other things. Not that it's been a, like a ton. I think mostly it was just to get my blade leveled up. And I think to get the last bit of the pouch leveled up. There's only going to be one in here. It's kind of just like, oh, hey, look. Here's one. Gee, thanks, Gabe. You're the best. All right, well, it's time to go on a tomb spree. Oh, there's one over there. I see it. Maybe two. Every single one counts. Alright, everybody get ready. Ah, we're about to go... We're about to go some, some tomb diving. So, out in the middle of the desert, there's a couple golden question marks right next to each other, which, since I've gotten the stone circles done, should mean they are places where the crystals are. I believe. So, off we go. Oh man, just a, literally a hole in the ground, in the hillside. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, here. You break it. Okay, I was like, what? <laughs> then I saw the scarabs. Ooh. Oh, I guess, um, the golden things are... Oh, wow. It looks like that was probably intentionally placed. Yeah, 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 look. Ah, it's like, look, here's the other entrance. Voila. Um, no, but, um, it's a place, the golden triangle, or golden question marks are where stone tablets are, but where stone tablets are is where golden or crystals are so oh this is a weird oh here let's move it because it's going to kind of light up our path i guess interesting I didn't even I didn't even catch the name of this place. Everything is further in. Tell me, tell me the secrets. We are the watchers of Toth, the Lord of Right and Truth, the Shining One. We willingly follow our Crown Prince Akmo Ahmos Anka into the next life to record his radiance. We are honored to be his chosen. Oh, this jewelry they have out. I think it's like those are those are like little scarab beetles too. Like little fake ones. 
We are men of sword and shield, warriors who served our Lord in life and death. We follow him to the eternal fields to carry on his orders and proclaim his glory. So basically an entire squad was killed to follow their Lord into the afterlife, which if you're Egyptian, it wouldn't be a bad deal, to be honest, because it wasn't like an end, it was just a beginning, like a different sort of beginning, you know? Child of the moon, we honor you. Child of the moon, we mourn for you. Child of the moon, we follow you and go willingly into the dua. I've lost the moonlight, or the sunlight, unfortunately. Maybe it's because it's the wrong time of day? That's interesting, because there's... There are day and night cycles in this game. Ah! I had to clear the cobwebs off. I waited, I meditated, and nothing happened. So I was gonna go hit that thing, that shield, and see if anything happened, but there was cobwebs on it. Let's do this. Let me break. <laughs> I do that? Oh snap. Wonder if I lit it on fire myself if uh, something would have happened. Man, that's some powerful sunlight to start hay on fire. Legit though. Oh, that's neat. Ancient writing from the old kingdom. I did it. Maharpa. Ooh, they've got little stone soldiers. Beloved of he who rises up, no monarch and prince of Egypt, leader of the people. May he guide the servant who willingly joins him, and may his servant bask in his benevolence. Oh my gosh, they have little tiny, like, retinues as well. Like little, little tiny servants that were, like, made up. Like, kind of like the... The Chinese clay soldiers that you find. Activate the ancient mechanism. Oh boy. What's this? Is that something moving over there? Just as long as there aren't any snakes, because I hate running into snakes. That's the way outside. Ooh, is this another one of those things where... Hang on. No, okay. I thought maybe it was a uh, oil. Yeah, yeah, this would be one of those places underwater, I think, maybe? Oh, it's not? Is it just... It's just in, like, a cave or a canyon? Oh my gosh, that's so cool! Man, these games must... Conspiracy theorists must love these games, you know? Oh, look, so these are, like, modern, that, like, people were, like, riding up top somewhere and just happened to, like, fall down into here, which would either kill you instantly or, you know, kill you pretty quick. I assume. Uh-huh. 
So this little, like, area is more exposed than most that have the, like, precursor tomb stuff going on. What? No, I'm not placing five in there to activate it. I've got... I gotta save up. Dang it. I found, like, seven in here. Oh, bummer, though. That would have been the thing where it, like, talks at me. <laughs> and, like, tells me a bunch of crazy things. That's too bad. Where is this? It's not even marked. But it is where this photo is. And it's near the golden tomb. Oh, okay. And that's an ancient mechanism that I haven't done anything with. Okay. Cool beans. How many? Oh, that's not... Oh, I was looking at the wrong things. Those those crystals are much rarer. Where's my other things? Oh! I'm much closer. I'm much closer than I thought I was. Perfect. Okay. I can probably just go to one more tomb and get enough. Okay, cool. The silica, and then we have the crystals. Okay, so those are different. Perfect. Perfect! Okay, there's a pyramid here near Memphis that I apparently haven't been inside. And I picked up one more silica before leaving that tomb. So I only need five more. And they aren't too difficult to get, so maybe I'll get enough to activate the mechanism in that other place that I was at. Every time it like makes like a little like snake sound, it's like that just have like a background noise. It's like, oh look, you found something. I'm like, ah. I am glad that the game reminds you of this sort of a stuff. It's nice because it's like, if you haven't played in a while, you come back and you're like, ah, uh, you know. Hidden entrances. Ooh. Very cool, very cool. So this is something where I don't know if I can get back out the same way I got it. What is... Oh, it's water! I was I couldn't see what it was. I ain't diving down there. No way. Not without light. I think I just saw a spider cross. Oh, I guess I could go... Could I go up? I think everything's probably down. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh Oh, this is a, we're doing a pulley system thing. Cool. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. Oh my gosh, I'm a genius. I didn't even have to look any of this up. Yay! So I wasn't as much of a genius as I thought I was. I actually made it more complicated than I needed it to do and be. But you know what? We got there in the end. Oops. Destroying priceless pottery just to get where I want. And again. Oh my gosh, so many! Can I just have some silicate? That's all I want. I won't take anything else. I just want some silicate. 
No. Of course, the last tomb I have to find is a puzzly tomb. All right, let's hope this is enough. Because it's all I can find. Oh yeah. Ooh, spooky. Ooh, nice. Cool. Within three years, we have built more than half this great edifice, the Cracksman Gang. Nice. You should be proud. Sound of loop crunching under your feet, though. It's pretty cool. Hopefully, there's more crystals in this, though. Or silicates, I guess. Because that was a lot of work. If that wasn't enough, it's I don't have like enough. From the old kingdom. I need like three more. Many ability points. Oh man. That's it. Oh. forget that you can it, it lets you see underwater for whatever reason oh this may have been a shortcut maybe nope not from the previous thing but it, I, don't, I don't think it is somebody died a, a fellow a fellow assassin died over here somewhere tomb of sneferu haven't i already been here My gosh, I need two more. Crap, that was a lot of time. All right, looks like I haven't found the ancient tablet in there, but I think I think I've already been in here. I just didn't. Um, and that you have to fight through people. I think I've already been through that one place though, and all I didn't do was was get the actual stuff. Well, here's a little. Maybe it's not a glowing gold one though. It looks like some ruins. I don't know if it's a tomb though. Oh look, here's another one. Oh that's the one okay, that's the one I was just at that I haven't activated yet. But I'm pretty sure I went through all three tombs of Giza, picked up their stuff and then just didn't activate the mechanism there. Okay, so there's a golden arrow over, or golden question mark over yonder, but it's also got next to it a picture of a dead elephant, which I've been told that there is some sort of like arena that like you can't leave. Like once you enter it, you have to like do all these elephant races. And I don't know if I'm about that. <laughs> and like all the pictures, the elephants were like dead. And I was like, that doesn't seem very nice. So I don't know. We'll see. Hmm, yeah. Nope, not where I want to be. I know there's like some like tomb areas I've passed that I was hoping would just stay on the map, but they haven't. Here's one. Oh, I'm worried now, though. Because this one's- I'm pretty sure this is an elephant racing area down here. That's another one I'm gonna be upset. Okay. Got chased here, but I found- Uh, bleh, vultures, get out. Oh, gross. 
Oh, this doesn't look like a place I want to be, let's be real. Tomb of the Cynic. We have arrived. The summit has become savage. At night, we heard wild dogs howling, and one day a lion sent us until it is chased it away with a stick. But now we can really begin to honor our teacher. We need nothing but good company and lively discussion. If that runs out, we have a bladder of wine. Nothing can dull my excitement, for we are the birth of something that will outlive us all. Your loving son, Fesho. What did you hope to achieve here? <laughs> sure I can hear a lion. Yep, there's a lion. Well, uh, maybe uh, chasing it away with a stick was not the best option, you know? That's just uh, my two cents. Oh, it's sleeping. Okay, I'm not... At least I'm going to try not to bother it. Yep, yep, yep. Same letter. Lame. Risked my life for this. Whoa! Oh my gosh, this barely... Barely covers it. No, please, I don't want to bother you. Oh, she's beautiful. She's looking at me, but I'm hidden. This barely patch of weeds apparently barely covers me. Oh my gosh, please go to sleep. Okay, she's asleep. Maybe. Oh, golly, you're a pretty lady. There's... Whew. She's just chilling, minding her own business. If people were in her area and they got killed, that's their fault. Alright, so I think I have enough, but I am kind of curious. Okay. Uh, what's, is there like a way to... Is this a... Freaking no. Are there? Mm, that bone is rolling. You see that bone rolling? Oh my gosh. Oh, there's another one in there. Okay, well I have enough, so I'm pretty sure I understand what happened here. It's too bad I can't get in there. You. Oh well. Pretty sure I know what happened. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I have enough! Alright, let's go back. To the Sphinx, if it'll let me fast travel. And I haven't found the tomb yet, so that's still marked. Good. To the Sphinx! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> yes! That wasn't 50! Retransmission. Segment 6. Acquiring contemporary. Yes! It has been 109 days since the great catastrophe. The messenger speaks. Wake up. Hang on, first I gotta put the outfit on. Oh, wow. V. Wake up. The next chapter. Oh my gosh. I look so good. Oh, 
my gosh, that looks really good. He's unstoppable. And yet, the greatest revolutions sometimes originate from the confines of impossibility, do they not? Yeah, I agree. I'm actually listening. What weird, like... Weird. Change your mind. Subvert your perception. Stop this world. Bend it into something new. Destiny is not without irony. Here I am, imploring a lesser version of myself to do what I could never do. In this timeless moment, you and I are a bridge, both of us from different eras meeting halfway at the narrow of the hourglass in this ocean of sand. Hey, hourglass! It is not enough to tell time. You must learn time. To work with your shielding misses a still and in so doing, escape the inescapable. Fill in the blanks, the ones hiding between words, between worlds. Find the spaces that we could not erase, the variables that ended up erasing us. If you do not, they will erase you as well. There's the little symbol down there at the base of the tree Time at the told top. A story that ended it's like a... And now it tells of a story that ends with you. Pretty sure this is how Once black holes a work. Time, a new story will begin. The, what, what we're seeing, it's an hourglass, but I think it's also kind of how space-time functions. scattered into an array of random numbers. We found solace in order. We thought it would help us rule the world. We were wrong. Order never served us. It has kept us within the code, within the boundaries. We were tricked into thinking we were the ones writing the rules when they were in fact guidance to our conclusion. You need to transgress. You of all people understand the value of disobeying. Do they know who they're talking to? They have to. Take an unexpected turn away from the path that is drawn straight ahead of you. The Anus was humankind's first oh. unconscious attempt to explain what it could not see. Understanding genetic memories, an eye into history. But the Anus bears a fatal flaw. It follows the rules from those who embrace order, just as we do. The order, right? The Templar witness, order. But not altered. Your Animus is different, as is the mind that imagined it. It could escape the code. It could do that leap and make possible oh, yeah. a decision that defies the order of things that are. They're talking to my... Wake up. Okay. But I'm not talking... I remember now. Be the chaos that comes to be. Gods are just like you and me. Remember. They're not talking to Bayek. Nothing is real. Everything is permitted. <laughs> yes! Everything is permitted. Oh, wow! Is this where we got the phrase? Is, is that where... Did we get our Assassin's... The Assassin's Creed, like, lo, like, like, motto or whatever from, um... The, uh... The Precursor people, the first civilization. Wow, we look really good. <laughs> no, but that was actually a lot of very useful information. Like, the uh, when, they, when they said order, it had it capitalized, and I was like, oh, like the Templar order. I wonder if they're similar, and it's like, yeah. So the Templars are, like, bound by order. They want to they wanna, they wanna put order on chaos, and by doing so, control everything, which is kind of what this first civilization was trying to do. But then in the end, they were destroyed by something. I still don't really know what... Um, but uh, also, they're not talking to me, they're talking to Layla. Uh, they're not talking to Bayek, they're talking to Layla. And that's what happened in Assassin's Creed 2? Or Brotherhood, I think? One of the Ezio ones. Um, the, like, the, like, angel lady. At the one, I think towards the very end. She's like talking and Ezio's like, I don't understand what you're saying. And she's like, hush, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to someone beyond your time. 
screw you or whatever. And Ezio was like super confused about it and that's why, you know, he goes on this epic journey essentially to figure out what's going on. Which is why we get three games with him. But ooh, well okay, that was cool stuff. Not only did that actually make a little more sense, um it showed what, what the picture that it was showing us was um space time the space time continuum, how like space and time warps going through like a black hole type thing. Um, so it was an hourglass, but it was also space time and black hole shenanigans. But also it's just crazy to me that these like first civilization people are all like, yeah, could you uh, could you do this thing? And it's like, you couldn't even do it. You guys were super duper smart and you think you think I'm gonna be able to do it. <laughs> yeah, Layla, I think they're, they're, they're talking not to Bayek or to Ezio, but they are they are in a way because they know that these that the people that they speak through will be changed. I just want to see myself, like, in the dark and stuff. Um, but, and, and will possibly help, you know. Oh! I was like, what's that noise? But Bayek is breathing, basically, like, Darth vader -y through, like, a breath, like, like, because it covers his entire face, it's like, he's breathing through a helmet. Like, you can, but you can hear it. It's like, <gasps> like, I don't know. Like, like, like what Darth Vader sounds like when he's breathing, but not nearly so much. But yeah. Oh, snap. Oh, it looks so cool. I'm so glad to finally get this. Took a little longer than I thought for recording today. But thank you all so much for watching. That was really interesting. Not only do we have a sweet suit of armor, we actually got a, uh... uh <laughs> my dog. <laughs> we got a precursory thing that actually made a bit more sense than normal. Um, but thank you all so much for joining me on this. This was really fun getting all this stuff. Um, after this, I think I will indeed be continuing on with the main quest with my rad armor. And I'm really excited. So thank you all again so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next one.